Today on Sonoran Living Live, he wakes you up in the morning with news of the day. And he is in our kitchen today waking us up with buffalo wings. Plus, they are the... Um, you know what, let's start things out in the kitchen because um, we have got a really cool guest. Um, he uh, wakes you up in the morning with the latest news. And uh, today he's waking us up with a really delicious recipe. I walked into the studio. This is Kirk Yonke with our uh, Daybreak team. I walked into the studio and I go, oh my gosh, Kirk, it smells <laughs> Something's awesome going on. in here. So what are we making it's this morning? It's deep fried goodness. I, I, I was born in Buffalo, grew up in Buffalo, and I've watched so many people make chicken wings wrong. You think it's so easy. How do you mess it up? Well, yeah, like you, do you bake them? You don't bake them. No, oh, I did it wrong. No <laughs> breading. Uh, and The sauce is so simple, but people try to make it really confusing. And, and if you keep it simple, keep it simple, stupid, okay. you can make an awesome wing. Did you call me stupid? I'm just No, no, me. not you. Okay. <laughs> Call myself stupid. Okay. <laughs> but we've, we've got some wings cooking in here. And like I said, you've got to deep fry them. Uh -huh. uh, why is that? Just because it's got some crisp on it. I like to dust them with a little bit of flour. No, not a batter. Not, 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 not anything like that. Nothing like that. Just enough to give it a little bit of extra crisp. So I just want people to know what he was doing with this keep it, keep it simple stupid is like a journalism thing. <laughs> it's kiss. And it reminds us to keep our just scripts. keep it simple. Keep, just it, keep it simple. simple. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. calling you stupid. I know, but I want to make sure everybody else I, I'm glad you cleared that up for me so I don't get emailed. <laughs> I know. He went on there and called her stupid. Of course, oh, we're all you. thinking that, but <laughs> he had the guts to say it. So we start with a little bit of melted butter. Yeah, we'll start with the wing sauce. Melted butter is the base here. You can use margarine. Sometimes that sticks better. Uh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce, which is, uh, I is hate that? to say a brand, but it's the brand that you use if you want to make buffalo wing okay. sauce. This is what they use in buffalo. Um, you're using about a cup of this, a uh, stick of butter, a cup of this stuff, and then white vinegar. A lot of people are like, you know, white vinegar, why would you put that in? Well, it's that punch that you get. You oh, know, that's the <sighs> well, it's yeah. to clear your nose out. Yeah. If you're eating wings and your nose isn't running, you're doing something wrong. Okay. They're, they're not hot enough, in my opinion. And so I like to throw a little bit of cornstarch in here sometimes, too. I won't do that just because it's kind of messy. It's going to get all over the place. But you can, you can't. It just thickens it up. It, that's the consistency that we're, we're looking for. Though. Right. If okay. you want to thicken it up to get more on the wing, that's the way to do it. So that's it. So all there is to it. I got to ask you, when you do this, do you have your wife do it for you? Or do you actually <laughs> do this? Because, you know, a lot of times... She's it's probably like watching right now, I laughing know. out loud. She's probably, she's probably like... Uh, no, 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 no. She, I'm the cook in the, in the house. Are you really? I mean, I, she cooks and she does a great job. Uh, but I enjoy it so much. And she likes to bake. She's really good at baking. Makes an awesome uh, bunch of pies. Lots of good stuff. Yeah. Uh, but when it comes to cooking in the kitchen, I just really seem to enjoy it a lot more than she does. That's <laughs> I think she enjoys me cooking. So we're going to make some blue cheese. I would enjoy that yeah, if I right. had that in my family. But yeah. I got like hands of tuna and chicken breast, you know? Right. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, we, we do the fast food sometimes too. Uh, this, is, uh, this is blue cheese. We're going to make it from okay. scratch here because it really is another thing that's so easy. Uh, we've got about uh, a cup of um, sour cream, uh -huh. cup of mayonnaise. Does that look healthy or what? Just slob I, that stuff you know in what? there. When, I think when you do these types of recipes, you cannot cut corners. You've got yeah. to do it. You've got, you know, like if you're going to fry it, well, you're deep fry you, know, it. you know, deep fry it. I mean, you can go with the low fat stuff, but no, 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 no. See, I just don't even think there's a point to doing right. that. Right, 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 right. So, so you know, so this is a tablespoon of uh, apple cider vinegar. We'll just mix that in there, and then uh, we've got some Worcestershire sauce. Say that. Do I you? say Worcestershire. I don't know. But I'm from Texas, and I think that's like a Texas thing. Okay. So you just put like a couple teaspoons in there. We're just going to throw it in there. How did you say it? Uh, Worcestershire? Worcestershire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you say it. <laughs> Two big questions that are perplexing us this morning, you whether we're morning I or know. afternoon. I know. And how it's you say morning. It. I say it's morning until I take my nap in the afternoon. Do you take, do you take a nap? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I worked a morning shift for a while, and when I would take a nap, it would just, I mean, I'd sleep yeah. the rest of the day, and it yeah. would throw me off, so I had to stay you, away. You wake up at 2.30 in the morning, you, you can't go without a nap. So we just mix that up, uh -huh. and you let it sit in the, I'm going to put a little more blue cheese in there. These are just blue cheese crumbles. You buy these at the grocery store, nothing nothing super fancy. And you mix it up, you let it sit in the um, in the fridge for a couple hours, and it'll set, and that blue cheese flavor just kind of permeates in there. And uh, that's that. We, uh, we learned something else about you, too. You're a lefty. <laughs> I am a lefty. There's a lot of presidents that are lefties. We've got one right now, too. Le lefty's good. Are you cleaning okay. up here? Uh -oh. No, I thought maybe you needed it for your fingers. So well, here's sure. what we'll do. I appreciate that. We're going we're gonna to get the uh, tongs. You want to grab the tongs down there, Stephanie? Oh, yeah. And we've got the wings here, and you can even let them get a little bit more golden brown than that, but we're okay. going to pull these out here. Pull those out and then um, kind of show them towards that. Yeah, there we go. So we can look Take a look at that, Dwayne. This is uh, just a Tupperware container. Seems kind of sloppy, but you can't pour the sauce on top of them. You have to, uh, you got to mix them up in a Tupperware container. All right. You want to do it? Sure. 
And the reason is because the, the whole idea is you I've have to have sauce. Like this. All Safety over. first, it says right it's a there. Tupperware of the future. You have to have sauce all over the wings. You can't mess around. You put it in a Tupperware. <laughs> There we go. Don't be afraid to break it. And just shake it up. Just give it a good shake. Okay. Uh, and, and when you're done, you can throw that on the plate, and then you dump the extra sauce on top of it, and it just guarantees that you, you get the sauce everywhere. Yeah, I love it. You can smell it when you start. I dream of this smell. It's pretty sad. And see the orange color? Yeah. That's good. That's that's the orange that's hot wing color you want. It just It's it a little bit of that starchy in there, because I did put cornstarch in this batch. There we go. That. Oh, you just want me to pour it all? Well, I wasn't we'll sure if you wanted the rest of it. Dump it on there and get that sauce on there. And get a little on the carrots. And, and I am so impressed. <laughs> it's easy, isn't it? Yeah, and you know what? Now, you didn't warm up the sauce because we're going to do it when they're hot, so that's going to make it right. warm. And, and, and that's delicious. important that you bring that up because you don't want to wait till the wings are cold to put the sauce on there. You want to put a in, kick. <laughs> <laughs> I lick it. I don't mess around. <coughs> and the truth is that my recipe that we put up on the website is great, but play around. Put a little bit more hot sauce in there, the vinegar, put a little bit more, it'll add some bite, and just kind of play around and see what you like, because I know I've changed it so much over the years, and, and frankly, I don't use the recipe. I just kind of throw everything, it? a stick of butter, I want to be at your, you like, next, uh, maybe a son, son's party, or a, maybe a... The new baby. We need a party for the new baby. Yes, we're going to talk That's about the new name. baby. You know what? We're going to take a quick break, though, before, with you, let you clean up a little bit, but to see this recipe, visit our website, abc15.com, click on the food tab. We're going to check back with him, find out about the baby, or should I say babies, babies. in his life, <laughs> and much more. So um, we'll be back with him in just a little bit. All right, sounds good. Hey,